All right, so what we have here is this areaway drain, and you can tell by all the stuff she has around here that it doesn't drain. Uh, she said that water used to come down here, but she kind of fixed all that. This thing doesn't absorb enough, and it goes into her house. So what we're talking about doing is making this a 4x6 drain with 4-inch four, four pipe coming out this way and following this wood path right here straight along the line. You are about 2 feet deep right here, right? Be another 6 inches below for the, for the pipe. And then we go here. It is 48 feet to that fence. And then we have two options depending on grade. This way. So depending on grade, we plan A will be to take it as the as they laid the boards. Okay, and bring it down here. Now the one thing I'm concerned about is washing out on the driveway. Because it already has done it a little bit in these big rainstorms that we get nowadays. It is 66 feet to about right here. Uh, and so we could come down here, put a drain, put some riprap rock down here and let it disperse. Still going to be a quick disperse, but it'll slow things down and hopefully slow the, uh, the erosion. Plan B would be to go back up by the fence and bring it all the way across, take out that little tree, and bring it all the way down here because the hill was burnt. And so that will give us the extra fall that we need. It's about 106. This is called 110 feet from here. That's the phone line, somewhere right around here. But what you'll see is that. So we would go that way to the fence over there. Could take out that little tree. There's plenty of room for a machine. It won't be too terribly deep. Uh, and away we go. Disperse it there. Still put some riprap there so it slows it down and doesn't wash the whole hill down that way. Uh, there is that phone line right here, so we're probably a little bit right. 